On July 26, 1991, actor Paul Rubens, best known for his role in the comedy show Pee Wee Herman, was arrested. He was charged with indecent exposure and taken to the county jail. The incident happened in a movie theater in Sarasota, Florida, when he was caught allegedly watching a porn movie. His arrest sparked controversy and generated a lot of media attention due to Rubin's popularity. The day after his arrest, Rubin's posted bond and was released from jail. He made a statement to the media in which he stated that he was innocent of all charges. The case against him was later dismissed due to insufficient evidence. Rubens then hired a public relations team to address the media concerning his arrest. They released a statement saying that Rubens' arrest was a highly exaggerated version of events. This statement didn't have much effect on public opinion and many people still viewed him as guilty. Following his arrest, Rubens' career took a hit and the show was put on hiatus. After months of backlash and negative publicity, Rubens returned to the public eye. He returned to television with a series of guest appearances on various shows. These appearances were well received and helped to restore his image. Rubens then continued to have a successful career in film and television. In 2005, the charges against Rubens were officially dropped and he was officially acquitted. This was seen as a victory for Rubens as it gave him the opportunity to clear his name. The media coverage surrounding the arrest was intense and it created a lot of attention. The public opinion of Rubens was drastically changed due to this incident. As a result of his arrest, Rubens lost a lot of public and corporate support. Rubens was able to successfully regain public support and confidence. He was able to prove his innocence and show that he was capable of moving past this incident. Rubens was able to show the public that he was capable of coming back from the incident. Rubens has continued to work in film and television and has enjoyed a successful career. He has also written two books and is an advocate for organizations fighting censorship.